The California fiddler crab, Yucca crinulata, is found in muddy, silt soils in the intertidal wetland habitats of the Pacific coast. The male burrows into the soft but firm soil, making a home that is just right for his and his potential mate's size. These crabs have a rectangular shaped carapace. The typical size is about three quarters of an inch by a half inch. Their burrow is tailored so that the male crab fits snugly into the hole with the mother of his children. The male and female crabs look different. They are the same size and have the same body shape. However, the male has an outsized claw on one side of his body. This claw is used to attract female fiddlers and to fight with other males for territory and mates. The male will sit beside his burrow and wave his long claw as an advertisement selling himself and his real estate to the very choosy female. These ladies are among the most particular maters in the animal kingdom. In a research study done by Dr. Catherine de Rivera of UCSD at the Chula Vista California Nature Reserve, one female was observed checking out 106 burrows before making up her mind. The average number of female inspections is 23, with at least 16 entries into the male burrow to check it for fit. Both the male and female live inside the mud hole. The fit is so precise they must enter sideways. When the mating contract is made, the two enter the burrow, the male closes over the opening where they mate and incubate their eggs. Larger female crabs are not as choosy because there are fewer large male crabs that can make the upscale larger homes. The male and female open the burrow to feed outside for a few hours each day at low tide. Dr. De Rivera reported an interesting predation on the eggs. The endangered savanna sparrow will chase the female crab who carries her egg brood under her abdomen. The bird tries to capture and eat the eggs. The female crab is left unharmed. When the eggs hatch, it is on a night spring tide, the highest high tide of the tidal cycle. This is when the hatchlings will not be exposed to predators. These plankton-sized baby crabs float away on the flowing water to find their own way in life. Fiddler crabs are detritus eaters. The name fiddler crab comes from the interaction of the two claws of the male. While eating, the large claw is in front of him, while the male feeds himself with a smaller claw. It looks like he's playing a fiddle. All of these crabs suck dead plants and animal detritus from the soil. They leave little round balls of waste soil in their territory. When high tide fills their estuary, the surface is smoothed out and fresh dead stuff is again added to the soil. These animals serve the wetland habitat in the same way a gopher serves the grassland habitat, turning and aerating the soil. At low tide, the mudflats enjoy the antics and actions of the California fiddler crab, Uca brinulata. <laughs>